for Huang Chong and I, they also are uh, interested in. Uh, And uh, I applied uh, for academic DSA uh, to Wai Chong and RI. I got admitted to Wai Chong by DSA. Yeah, so um, first, um, why did I apply for DSA? So basically, the main reasons are like securing a place in like top institution. Because like, um, like if I want to get into Wai Chong RI, then my my net score is probably need to be like four or three for if I'm a Singaporean. But like, uh, the other thing is actually I'm. Uh, in a different stream for JE. So like for for my case, it's like I need to get like 10 A1s to get for uh, to get into Huang Chong, but that's like because I'm in a stream. So basically that means that like I cannot get into Huang Chong or I buy JE. So this is uh, like my only way to get to like these top schools. So that's why I I plan for this A from like around sec three. So uh, how did I choose school? So the criteria that I use for choosing school is um, the the first one is ac academic rigor. So uh, what I found in SCI is actually like it's okay, like I I went to SCI because I and so I'm a foreigner and I came to SCI via like a scholarship. But then I feel like I I'm not very suitable for SCI because like it is a, like the academic rigor is not suitable for me. And then when I go for Olympiads and stuff, then then not a lot of training. But then if I come to Huang Chong I right, then there are a lot of trains for me. So that's why I want to, to come to Huang Chong I right, so that like I can get more assistance in my academic pursuit. Yeah. And the second thing is the school spirit. Like uh for some people, like um okay, I would say like uh, for example, Wai Chong, uh, uh, for the school spirit, it's more like um, not very relevant. Yeah, so if you apply for an academic DSA, then uh, one possible trade-off is that uh, the you may not you may not have the school spirit. And yeah, so if you want to like play more and enjoy more JC, like enjoy more JC life, then probably uh, I mean you can still apply for Wai Chong, uh, but probably not under academic uh, domain. Uh, and then the third thing is the school culture. So this is the most important thing. I I think is the most important thing because like they also asked during um interview. So uh, I remember one question that they asked in the interview is why didn't you apply? Why have you applied for all the schools? And like between Hua Chong and RI, then which one you choose? Yeah. So and you, so I think this is the the very important question that you must be able to answer before you come to interview, and. Also, you need to consider carefully and like uh, you should not choose school just because like there's a cap DSA, but also you need to know why you want to come to the school. Yeah, so the reason why I chose uh, a cap DSA is because of my interest. So the, the thing about this is uh, you'll be stuck in this domain for the rest of your chasey life. So for example, for me, I come uh, for a cap DSA. So this means that uh, when I come to Hua Chong, then uh, the school uh, will expect me to, uh, like, let's say, research. So, I mean, uh, there's nothing to obligate you from on with, like, doing these things, but, like, that is just a general uh, expectation from the school. Uh, then I also expected to join, like, the talented program. So, and the thing about that is, like, when I apply for the uh, talented program, then the schools also like kind of prioritize me in like allowing me to get in. So um like the criteria for like for my school, the criteria we into the talented program is like uh, seven points in uh, all levels. Uh. But then like only I got eight for all score, but then they still allowed me in. So yeah, in a sense the school expect me and wants me to get into like those talented programs that the school has. And also you need a lot of preparation. So as you can see like for ICAT DSA, um like for me I have to go and like find um find out about like the competitions like when i was in sji i didn't i wasn't really introduced to those programs it's what uh, it's like my responsibility to go and find out those competitions and like make sure that i achieve and also you need to uh, have uh, have strength or background in the program so uh, like if 
like once it's like if you apply under CCA, then the schools will look at what you have to achieve with your CCA. So, um, so like let's say for uh, this is not a good example, like but like let's say you apply for guitar, but to um, okay, I'm I'm not really sure which school, but if uh, you apply under CCA, then like if your CCA doesn't really achieve a lot, then it's quite a disadvantage for you as compared to like other people. I mean, the main thing is also about your trial, but if you earn, but if your CCA doesn't achieve a lot, then yeah, you will be at a disadvantage. But um, and but another thing is like it's also about like what you have achieved on your own. So this is more about the ACAD domain. So for my domain, um, like, I mean, there's no like something like ACAD DSA or something, uh, like ACAD CCA. So yeah, yeah, then I have to work more on my own to make sure that I achieve enough for, uh, for my DSA application. Yeah, so regarding my uh, DSA application, so I applied, to Hwang Chong and RI by an academic domain. So these are like my achievements that I use for my application. So the, the main the main achievements I use are like the uh, Singapore Olympiads one. And then like there are some other math Olympiad, uh, math Olympiad uh, competitions, yeah. But the main ones are like uh, uh, these two that I, um, yeah. And I think for Hwang Chong and RI, they also, uh, interested in um, mainly the Singapore Olympiads, yeah. So I'll talk a bit more about the application process. So uh, specifically about the essay and the interview. So for the essay, right, uh, I would suggest that you don't waste your words restating what you, you, you have had in your application, especially your achievement. So my mistake, uh, uh, and initially when I wrote the essay, then uh, my mistake was that I restated my achievement. But the thing is, uh, in your application, there's already a section for you to list out your achievements. So like, there's no point in trying to uh, restate the achievement, but rather like try to put in what is not in the application. So what in my case, what I did is I uh, highlighted what um, like my interest beyond uh, study, in studying beyond the textbook. So what I did is I, I said what I have done in preparation for those uh, Olympics. So uh, like, for example, I read up more, I read about about like the topics that I'm weak at and study um, more about like the topics in Olympiads and not in the textbook, right? for example, or something like that. Then I also talk about like the ambitions and like what I wish to learn, what I wish to achieve when coming to Hua Chong. So because the school will want to, will want to make sure that when you come to the school, then you can benefit from the school rather than like uh, coming to the school because you don't want to participate in JE. So yeah. You may also want to talk more about like what you can, what you want to achieve, yeah, from the school, and also what you can contribute to the school. So regarding the interview, like um, the interview, the purpose of the interview is usually for teachers to assess whether you are suitable for the school and like whether you have considered the school seriously. Yeah, um, that's what I like. Uh, this uh, by chance that last year I was I lived in the same floor as my uh, as a teacher in charge of uh, sport DSA. So I asked him like, oh, what, what, like you have you have already had a trial, so what's the purpose of interview? So he said that basically it's just be, uh, it's just to make sure that the, the student like is suitable for the school and the student can survive in the school basically. So what are the questions that they were asked in the in the interview? Actually, you can just Google and you can already find out the list of questions possible. And like, I guess you can prepare for these questions then that's good enough. But okay, the, the, the main thing is, uh, it, it seems like, it seems quite easy that you can just Google, but actually you need quite a lot of time to, like, it's not about just, you know the question, but also you know how to answer the question. So what I suggest is like, when you Google, then also press on the link and like, yeah, you make sure that you've, you read on the insights of what of what the interview expects from you, yeah. And uh, one thing about that is that you you must craft your answer specific to the school. So one example is uh, they ask uh, why do you want to apply to Hwang Chong. So when uh, when you answer this question, you must be able to list out the available programs exclusive to Hwang Chong. So if your answer is something like uh, I I want to come Hwang Chong because Hwang Chong is a 
uh, Hua Chong can prepare myself, uh, can prepare me well for my academic pursuit and has a lot of programs. So if your answer is uh, too generic that, then uh, it's not a good thing. Yeah. And also another thing to prepare for interviews is to make sure you do mock interviews a few times. Yeah, and, uh, and familiarize yourself with like uh, how the interview goes.